Hello everyone, it's Yvonne here to do your weekly reads. Um, the first one will be for the sign of Gemini. Gemini for the 3rd to the 9th of March. Okay, let's get going. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I um, continue to get, you know, really good responses to my readings and that's really important. I've had some lovely feedback from people who've called me this week to say, you know, that they have met back up with their lost loves. So that's always nice for me. Lots of confirmation. Okay, we're using the Gilded Tarot and we do have the Five of Swords coming straight out. Now, the Five of Swords is a card that talks about winning a battle. The only thing is you are the only one that's there to celebrate that win. You've won everything. You've got all the swords under your arm. Look at you go. Um, but everything else is totally desolate. So it's sort of like you've won this battle, but have you won the war? Okay. This also talks about sometimes about selfishness, but I feel like you've won at something. And I don't like to be a person who talks about wins and losses, but this is about sort of achievement here because you get the sun card afterwards. So whatever you've done and the magician. So by give, saying goodbye to something, by finishing something, by closing up this battle, by walking away, you've brought sunshine into your life and now you can manifest what you really want. So very, very nice for the mini read. Okay, so we do have the Fool coming straight out. Now, the Fool is a card that talks of brand new starts. It does talk about having a leap of faith. It can talk about being foolish too, but often this foolishness is just about doing something without really putting a lot of thought into it. So it's about being impulsive. Um, yeah, sort of doing things, doing things in a way where you're not overthinking what you want the outcome to be. The Ten of Swords is coming out here and the Ten of Swords talks of negative thinking, end of, uh, end of um, cycles, end of betrayal, end of the death of something. I guess that's what you're looking at in that battle there. Eight of Swords coming out here. Wow, Gemini, a lot of thinking in these cards. Eight of Swords is a card that sort of shows someone in a mentally imposed prison. Again, the swords with the thinking, not able to get out of your own thoughts. Um, this sort of talks about the end of that. So hopefully you're coming out of this time, but a lot of swords energy here. Okay, we do have the chariot. So you are moving forward here. The universe is trying to move you forward. Now you've done what work you needed to do. They're trying to move you forward on this brand new start here. Okay, so you have a different path to walk down now. So by doing what you've do what you've done is you've opened up a new direction for yourself, and this is why you're taking this leap of faith. Something that's much more stable, something that's much nicer. There's an offer coming in here. So you've opened yourself up to new offers. The tower is here as well. I'll do a big recap. We'll just put the cards out. Stability coming in here. And Wheel of Fortune. So you're definitely on a spiritual journey here. Okay. Five of Swords, the Sun, the Magician, Abundance, Ten of Pentacles. So what you've in fact done here is you've given something up or you've said goodbye to something. Now, this may have been very, very difficult for you because I don't think it's something that you really enjoy doing. This Five of Swords doesn't tell me it was a victory that was great. You could have walked away from something, somebody, a situation that was not serving you here. But the universe is trying to say to you now, through doing that, you're going to bring in your own abundance. There is money, tangible things on its way to you here. A brand new start. You've got the Four of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. Brand new start that's going to take you out of this very negative, negative time that you've been through. Two of Swords says you're going on a completely new path. There is a tower here. So I think it did break down some of the way you saw things because the universe is moving you forward with this Wheel of Fortune. So 
what this says to me is you've had you're going to have in the next week or so because these don't sit right into the next week but there's going to be some sort of realization here some sort of awakening that what you're currently doing is not working whether that's in a relationship or a situation work um it's not serving you to do it the way you're doing it so you're going to cut it out it's obviously causing you some sort of pain sleepless nights overthinking because you're now ready to move away from something there is a brand new offer coming here that promises you stability and the universe is pushing you greatly in that direction with this chariot and this wheel of fortune so you're being moved towards something much better now, it may not feel that way at the moment because you've come out of a pretty hectic time and you've had to walk away from something. Um, the Five of Swords, the whole pirate victory thing, you've won something, but you haven't really felt like you won. So that means you've cut out something that, you know, um, wasn't good for you. You've walked away from something um, that didn't that didn't take you anywhere, didn't offer you the growth you need. And now you're going to grow. You're going to... Find abundance, move forward, be able to secure that job, that relationship, whatever it is you need now that you've walked away from this situation here. You're willing to take a leap of faith, though, after a tower moment, which is really, really cool because that means that you know that adventure is out there for you and you're ready to try it. Okay, so the card you got out was flowers and it says, Be generous. Success and emotional fulfillment are yours. Nice reading, Gemini. Thanks.